I'm 19 years old. Um, I've grown up in Melbourne most of my life and um, I love music and I love writing in general, whether it's poetry or stories or screenplays. Um, and actually, although music I love very, very dearly and would love to pursue it at the same time, um, I really love film directing and writing. Um, and that's my big kind of goal and ambition in life to achieve that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, to me I think they all make sense to be together um, because like I said I love writing and so whether it's writing music or writing with moving images or writing, you know, everything's just painting a picture with language. So. That's a funny question. Um, what do I like most about myself? Wow. Um, I think for me I, I really like the way that um, that I feel like I belong in the world and that I have a purpose. I think I'm very lucky to to have that and to feel to feel yeah at peace about why I exist. I think that's what I, I think that's what I like most about myself. It's a bit odd, but yeah. Greatest influence. I think there's been so many. Um, I mean, parents, obviously, my parents, my mum's family is very musical, um, so I grew up with that. Um, I also grew up in the church and, you know, a lot of music and fun and just appreciation of the beauty of the world, really, is what, you know, I think I took from that. And so, I think my, my biggest inspiration is actually just the beautiful, creative world that's around me that I can appreciate. It's, yeah. Oh, these questions are so deep. Um, <laughs> I, I actually, I can't think of, yeah, okay, there's been many, obviously, with everything, but last year I took a year off, um, before I started uni this year, and I went to Europe for five and a half months, and I'd say that was pretty life-changing. I think, at times I, I was visiting friends or relatives, but those times where I was alone for a long period of time, um, I think I really realised a lot about myself, a lot about life in general. Um, yeah, it was a very challenging and, and inspirational time. No, it's very tricky. I think there, everyone here is so talented and I mean you have people that just have this really unique natural sort of jazz style to their voice and then you've got the sort of acoustic guitar people and I think it's going to be hard, maybe it's going to be based on something that really stands out as being unique. What would I do with it? Oh, oh well, my best friend is a midwife, but training to be a midwife and she wants to save hundreds of thousands of African babies. So I donate Oh, how much is that? I'd give her half of it. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, no, I'd give her half. I'd give her half to go and start her mission of saving babies. And then with the other 500,000, I'd go and make some movies and buy lots of instruments and make music. Just make lots of things and then make more money from the things that I'm making. Sky type. <laughs> Wow, these questions, I was like expecting like, who's your inspiration? Why do you like music? Okay, my ideal guy type. Uh, you definitely have to have the same worldview as me and outlook on life, number one. Number two, uh, he'd have to at least appreciate art, even if he's not creative. He'd have to be creative deep down somewhere. Probably have to be quite intelligent so that we can talk about intelligent things. <laughs> um, and he'd have to be really nice and caring and loyal and... Yeah, that's pretty important. I don't know, there's so many things. I probably have a too ideal an image of, of my perfect guy, so I should probably stop now. <laughs>